Hey guys, Anthony here with a tutorial on how to use Google Forms as a contact form in Blogger. I use the native built-in contact form in Blogger. However, recently there have been some issues in receiving messages via the contact form. Using Google Forms is a decent alternative. It's free to use and easy to set up. So let's start with creating a contact form. Go to the Google Forms website. You'll find the link in the description section. You will need a Google account. For example, you can use your Gmail account. Once you're logged in, you'll see this Google Forms dashboard. Choose the contact information option and it'll open a form template. I'll start by giving it a name. I'll go with blogger contact form. I'll write a little description. Next, I'll click on the name field and you'll see a whole bunch of options. If you click on this drop down button, you can choose different types of fields. So for the name field, I'll go with short answer. You can choose to make this field a required field. Next, we'll go to the email field. I'll leave all these settings as default. Next is the address field. I'll click the delete button because I did not want it. I'll do the same for the phone field. I'll delete it. And finally, for the comments field, I'll change the wording to message and make it a required field. Next, let's go to the Responses tab. Click on the three vertical dots icon and choose Get Email Notifications for New Responses. Finally, we need to change some general settings. Click on the gear icon in the top right corner and you'll see this dialog box pop up. Uncheck all the boxes and in the Presentation tab, you can edit this confirmation message if you want to. And finally, click Save. So our contact form is now ready and we need to embed it. So click on the send button in the top right corner and you'll see the dialog box pop up. Go to the embed tab and copy this embed code using control C on a keyboard or use this copy button. And now it's time to head over to Blogger. So I'm logged into my Blogger blog and I'm in the pages section. I'll click on new page to create a new page and then give it a name. Next I'll click on the HTML button and replace this HTML code with the embed code from Google Forms. And if I go back to Compose Mode, you will see the embedded Google Contact Form. Under Options, you may want to disable Reader Comments and then click Done and finally publish it. In order to display this contact form on a separate page, you need to go to the Layout section and in the Page widget, click the Edit button and you'll see this dialog box pop up. Make sure to choose the contact form from the list and Save Changes. And here's how the contact form looks like on my Blogger blog, which is on a separate page in the menu up top. Well, hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. And thanks for watching.